I'm not broadcasting live. Okay. Yes, I know I dropped. I dropped on purpose. I should be back up, and I'd love to know if my picture is any better. Um, this is an experiment. You know, I don't know how close together we have to be or anything like that. Yeah, if I if I cut out, I'm just going to go 3G and not worry about it. Oh, you have a 3G phone? Yeah. Oh, this will help you. Yeah, it's going to help me a lot. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's an iPhone, but I only got 3G on it. That's why the hotspot is going to help oh, me a lot. Oh, it is an iPhone. So yeah, that's why you get a pretty good picture. Okay, let's get this. Where do we get this from? Um, In your bag. I'm going to put it back out. Oh, yeah, that's great. All right, guys, let me know if I'm back up and if my picture is actually any clearer and my audio. Yes, technically, it maybe should be. I hope it is. Um, it may not be for me, but that's okay because I got a friend here who I think it definitely would help. Yeah, you're already 4G. I think. Yeah, I'm, I'm already 4G. So this might speed it up. I mean, it might not be that noticeable, but yeah. it might I heard, be a little. I heard you saying it and I, thought you, I figured you had a... Uh... Okay, thank you, Opie. Um, I heard you saying it online last night. I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Because I bought this little thing and for a different purpose right. that it doesn't work for. Oh, so, yeah. Well, I've been It's not cheap. No, it's not. Um, it costs monthly. Monthly. It's 50, 50 bucks 50 monthly. monthly. Yeah. yeah. And I thought I'd be able to use it in my office and ditch my regular internet service. I might still be able to, but I don't get good service in my office. Like, I'm in Staten Island in a basement that has yeah, dentists. Yeah, this little thing. Just in case I get arrested. Like you'll never know, and it's like recording the voice to the internet. So if I go down and they take my phone, this is still like wired on. Don't say that right now. Sorry. Do you have the number for the, the National Lawyers Guild? I have a Sharpie, and one of my. Do you have a Sharpie? Here's the number. See, some things I remember and some things I forget. All right. This is what you share with all your friends, guys, if you're in New York City and you're occupying. And we are seeing. Jake, now do this, which is 212-679-6018. Some people object to tattooing their bodies with this number. Right, um, I don't object. <laughs> yeah, yeah, me neither. If I need it, I want it. Yep, just in <laughs> case, right? It's right. And you also, know, it's the also is that if you, other people need it, you have it. Yeah, exactly. And that's what's, you know. One person in jail has it, everybody has it. Or you're out on the street. This had, uh, last weekend when everything was crazy and some guy's friend, you know, had trouble and he, did, he knew nothing what to do. And I gave him the number. So, all right. Now, if possible, could you throw this into my backpack sure. somewhere? <laughs> I got you. Oh. Now, okay, I realize that this is like the stupidest question, but you are the Jake that got the battery. That is me. Yeah. Why do I? Why did I know that in Brooklyn? And you changed your hair color. Did I? Well, a uh, little bit. A little bit. That's <laughs> why I've been like all week long. I'm like, and also I had your name spelled wrong. Yeah, Jake Rosa. Yes. Yeah. 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 All right. All right. Well, yeah, you, you're the one that sent me to JNR, and I got the battery. That was great. Yes, and we bonded last Sunday at the at the uh, basketball thing. Yeah, that was yeah. fun. That, that was, was awesome. really good. Yeah, that was really People cool. People loved so, that much. Yeah, I mean, we were small, but not small, but really, but. We were good. We yeah, were we were really good. We had a big impact with the little people. Like, yeah, it was awesome. people were watching us. People were coming out of their houses and waving. And um, yeah, you okay. got a real clear picture. That's really nice. All right, video is better. Thank you, Jake. Maybe you should get a stamp with that number. <laughs> Just go around and stamp people's foreheads. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, all right. I'm going to walk around now, and I'm glad I can help Jake out. Um, especially if my feed goes down, you know, you can put Jake's up, and you got Mac here. So, um, you know, and Jake is like my little, I don't know, one of my many adopted young occupiers. <laughs> because he helped me get famous on eviction day with the Tim Pool battery, which I now have. I bought one. I got one. Mouse is carrying it for me right now. That's I'm awesome. Gonna, I got a little one on me now, but I got the big one. Awesome. It's the so big battery. Right. Yeah, you were famous that day. That's well, really weird. Yeah, I, I thought about you like every day after that. I was, I was like, like, what happened to that so guy? Nice. Yeah, I was thinking about you too. Yeah. I wonder what she was doing, like watching the stream. I was like, oh, I want to watch. It was so nice. Sure. Oh, too sexy. Nice. All right, Harley Davidson. Hello. Hello. Say hi to Occupy Earth. Hi, Occupy Earth. All right. Let's see now. What do we have here? Be here in ten minutes. 
Oh, okay, Rad, I'm going to tell him that, okay? I'm going to walk over there and tell him. Oh, we got 10 minutes for the march? Okay, the march will be here in 10 minutes. Um, everybody's given our friend Angry Pacifist a lot of support because he had major surgery just a month ago. Really? And he's been marching. Oh, wow, yeah. yeah like last enough. week when things were crazy, he was marching. Spinal surgery. Oh, yeah. Like, he shouldn't be here. Tell him to go easy. He can't. He's just. He's incapable of it. Just die hard. Die hard. Cool. Yeah, let me just tell him. You need a million more of those people. Okay. That's him right here. He's a great guy. The in yeah. All of Occupy Earth has just said hi and be well. <laughs> I know. I'm going to disappear to like the front. I always stay in the front of the march because I don't want to get kettled yeah. and I can keep an eye on the police. And the, I, the last march I tried to keep out in front. I, was, I had the banner <laughs> for blocks and blocks and then the, the cops moved and I went to the city yeah. and next thing I know, I never got back to the front. That's what I mean. It's so easy to lose it. Yeah. <laughs> So that's what I mean. The mainstream media makes like a uh, group out in front, mm -hmm. and then there's the banner. There's also what I call the peloton, like from bicycle racing. Okay, yeah. Uh, I know what you mean. That there's a group of occupiers that stays out front. Mm -hmm. That whenever we see a chance to close the street down and grab a street, we'll take. The street. Yeah, right, right. that's why that's we went. Favorite. We didn't. That was the serpent time last weekend. <laughs> right. My God, that march went on forever. Well, and well, then I, I like realized that's my favorite people were blaming the. Some people were like thinking the police were doing it to us. And then I realized, no, we're doing it. We did it absolutely. And we did it in Brooklyn, which is how we finally got to the illusion. I remember when I was down oh, yeah. the I'm sorry, Miss Fort Green. That, that was really nice. <laughs> See, that's what you should be doing in your medical condition. <laughs> Hang out at a park. Yeah. Well, if we could just, I think, not Union Square. I think we should have occupied Washington Square Park. It's one of my favorite parks. I love Washington But I do uh, like I Union Square, too. Yeah. I, was in the, I grew up in the village, so Washington Square. That's where I played there as a little kid. Although, when, if they close the park at night, then it's just the sidewalk. The little sidewalk. That's oh, they're closing out. the park now, so oh, the legal that's stuff the now happens. They're going to close anything we show up at. I think we should start marching to the parks. <laughs> you know what? You're right. I'm working with um, you know, the town square people. I yeah. connected them up with there's an Occupy Bronx people. Oh, I'm yeah. originally from the Bronx, so I, I will be there at my old stomping grounds. Yeah, and there's a beautiful Bronx park there, Van Carlin Park. Stop, 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 stop. Yes, yes, yeah, there's they're big on that. And that's why like, I don't like the F the police stuff, but uh, I don't have the same background. That's right. So if I don't like to see it in Occupy Wall Street, but when they do, stop, 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 stop. And in Brooklyn, with the Illuminator last weekend, F the Police was Film the Police. <laughs> Everyone was wearing Film the Police. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's, that's my name. Yeah. So, Film the Police. <laughs> Tell us, right. I'm going to roam around a little bit. Okay, good. See you later. Yeah, we'll get out there. And I'm going to, I mean, I'm going to try and stay towards the front, too, but I don't know. Yeah. We'll see. I figure I started the front, I'm doing well. From there on, anything will go. You know? <laughs> But you realize we're supposed to gather on the other side of the bridge at the end of the march. Yeah, uh, Cadman, yeah is that, so we're Plaza. supposed to do the whole bridge? Apparently. Well, there's a group that's going to march to meet us, yeah. and then we'll march back. Oh, and then we'll march we have to get back. home. Yeah. See, I thought, we'll about around. I thought about parking in Brooklyn. This is going to be a long day. This is going to be, you know what? This is going to be an ATM and cab ride day. It could be. It could be. So gather up. Because well, I'm not going to be up to it, and you're not up to it. Yeah. And well, so last week I was. I think you can take the R train back home from here. Or you can't. Are you crazy? <laughs> what, you don't like the train? Well, I don't like trains. Was that your first subway ride? Last no, week? but I don't oh. like it. But the Why? spine, your spine is not stable right now. Those trains go back, and the vibration will kill you. Yeah. That's what gave me my neck injury. Was a vibration on. Um, it was very bad weather, and I was driving in the wind, and. I should show you my arrest video from it, 17. Uh, I ended up on my back with my sign staring up in the sky, and the police dragged me away by my head. Oh, my God. Uh, it was pretty bad. Yeah, that's bad. <laughs> Somebody sent me this Russian film of it. It's just, like, I've never actually seen footage of me being arrested, and it looks so different than you remember it. It's not a pretty sight. I got pictures of my niece being arrested, and we, yeah. have, we don't let my mother see it. Yeah. We don't let Grandma see it, because she will... No. Oh, I know. I'm very proud of it. Like, I would show it to everybody. I put it on my Facebook page. <laughs> Send it over to Earth. We'll get it on the loop. Yeah. <laughs> no, I think, you know, like, I've, I was arrested in the 70s, 80s, 90s, 2000s. Every decade, yeah. Every decade. Yeah. 
I do not want solidarity in the jail cell. It depends on the jail cell. Where my niece was taken after, I don't know where the hell she was, up in the 80s with rats and urine on the floor and oh, no, you heroin want to addicts. Down here, yeah. Then you go to one no, see, no, they took her from. Yeah, you from. Be careful. Right, they shipped because she went to Bellevue and they, they took her everywhere yeah, in 24 really hours. It was not good. So no, I, I, like I said, I was arrested on my 50th birthday and I had 100 guys singing happy birthday to me. Oh, <laughs> angry pacifist is saying he was arrested on his 50th birthday and he had 100 guys in the jail cell singing happy birthday. So that's, as an activist, that's pretty special. Yeah, sure. He's saying how special it is to be arrested. I have had many special experiences in life and I'm going to hope to avoid that one. However, <laughs> so far, no, in good. principle, if, if it is something that I believe in yeah. strongly, take me. Yeah. I don't want to be something stupid like, you know, well, this is the problem. This is the problem with the way that we do things right now. Is that we march and march and march and march, and eventually we get kettled, and so everybody on the march gets arrested, even if they had no right. prior intention. Right. Most organizations will make the distinction between people who want to get arrested and people who don't, and you have an opportunity to split up, and that it's more coordinated. So that's what I like about spring training right now is that's a real effort to try to coordinate what, what we're doing. So I, I have to get to one of those one of these days. Yeah, and I and I and I think that like. Not everybody who's going to be involved in this in May Day and afterwards will have been to spring training. So it'll be up to those spring art people who've been on the marches to help educate everybody else. Yeah, so, yeah. Otherwise, it's just going to be like this past fall, this pandemonium. Yeah. You know? Which I, I like pandemonium. <laughs> <laughs> I like running. Gee, what makes us think? Angry traffic. pacifist gets arrested every decade of his life. <laughs> And what makes us think that he likes pandemonium? I don't know. What could that be? I call myself an aspiring anarchist. Is like, it aspiring anarchist? Someday very good. I hope to be a full, full on anarchist. <laughs> Actually, more of a social democrat. Okay, you get. Oh, you're sure. Yes, they need the Earth look. You're right. Um, Opie says that my earmuffs need an Earth logo on them. I know. You'll notice my earmuffs are Lippy Lulu Pepto Pink colored. I, uh, yeah, it's, um, pretty, it's pretty jarring. <laughs> <laughs> you know my font. Yeah. You have two snowballs. Pink snowballs. Pink snowballs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like those, those uh, snack cakes. Yeah, That's what I mean. Those yeah. really, yeah. <laughs> um, hey, I'll show you guys. Um, Mac was great. We actually do have business cards. He handed to me, though I, I can't find them right now. But he made these little buttons. Um, it doesn't say Occupy Earth on it yet, but I'm sure the, the next that will. Yeah, the next guys um, are awesome. And Jake is up. I'm up. Okay, very good. Um, that was easy. Yeah? I, I like that. I like yep. that a lot. Oh, it's nice when the cops say, media, do this, this, media, do that. Yeah, I like that. I'm not going Call me media. I don't even think Tim okay. wears it. Here, here you go. Yeah, he has. Does he? Yeah, he has a real, he has a, an international one now. Oh. These. Can you guys? I don't know if you guys can see it all. It's oh, not. It's, it's not focus, clear. Yeah. Um, but anyway, we have. have a longer line. Okay, a let's longer, see. Yeah. Let me see if I can. Max gonna try and get it up. So, which is really important. I mean, I've got a hundred in my backpack and probably twenty-five in my pocket because people are really starting to want to get to know us. So. What were they saying uh, when they might check just before yeah, I was taking they, a... They were saying it was good coming from the news. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're waiting for that. I was wondering. I'm, 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 sure sure I'm going to roam around because he and I stream in the same so person. Oh, just go. Yeah. Yeah. We like talking to you. I know. All right, so June 1st... dedicated chatter. Yes, you are. So wait. June 1st, my my niece... Um, who was here from day one, yeah. and her boyfriend was here from day one. They're gonna come. I got them the student things, That's awesome. and we're gonna party. Yeah, I like that. That'd be great. It's June first. Oh, it's wild. It's yeah, it's in a while. Um, it's I mean it's cocktails, hors d'oeuvres, dinner, dancing, music. It's a. We should convince them to have a few. No one. They just wouldn't play soccer. I was like, yeah, Elizabeth in there. I would like to get somebody willing to buy a chunk of tickets and then get people in. Um, I'm searching actually family members because. Maybe I'll buy a Lizzie Sure, absolutely. The, um, the, the low income ones are 60. That's not too bad. No, not for what you get and then your help, you know. We gotta make sure there's a vegan option. 
I'm sure there is. I'm sure. No? You know, it's funny, like, you think, like, man, and I can do oh, it's just a little yogurt, or just a little, you know, cheese. Then you end up hungry. You end up hungry. The last time I went to something, and it wasn't, this is going to be not as fancy, I went to something right over I don't know, one of these huge buildings overlooking Ground Zero for a Westchester Medical Center at Gala. Oh. Black tie. Oh. Woo! I, I went with a friend of mine whose sister was being honored. What a night that was. That was like, I pulled out like the, the gown, the oh, one yeah. gown, and the jewelry, and the whole thing. And it was really, really fun. This pass me the nacho. It was, I have a little dress up. Yo, yeah, pass me the nacho. It was, it was great. Um, and it was, I mean, it was a nice honor that she got. Nope. It was just party time, so um, I would like to get a family member of mine, actually, if I can, to purchase some for full price tickets, because I feel like my family, NLG's been there for us, in uh, two generations, and what they did for my niece is, I mean, you can't buy a lawyer, but they, you know. You no, know, the guy I had at the wine area, he was so personal, he gave me his car. What did you have? Yeah, we are guy too, and he, I mean, he was dealing with the, with the kids, so she wasn't um, <laughs> the easiest, the most cooperative. Yeah, it's when you, the first time you go through it, it's pretty, uh, it's pretty Because you, you're, you're in a room. Like you see, the criminals, yes, yeah. domestic violence. And, and then uh, we're in the seats like giggling. And, stuff. Yeah. <laughs> and then they look at you like, shut up. Yeah, I would like to try and get a bunch of tickets out to some really good people. Um, Maybe to find an actual student and give like some students. Well, I got, she is a student, so oh. her boyfriend. So I got them student tickets. And then I bought two of the low income, which now we're going. And I'm going to see if I can get people to buy, you know, get as many as I can. Because I'm a real. I appreciate them so much. Yeah, they've been having a lot of time. I keep saying, don't get arrested by yourself because you can't guarantee we'll be over here. It's only like mass arrests. They yeah, they, they're overwhelmed. So, all right, I'm going to roam. I'll see you. Okay. All right, going around. So that, so that was eight. Give me a peek, guys, just once in a while. Let me know um, how things are. And I'd love to know if my picture and audio is better now that I am hooked up. Not just from my phone, but through this wireless hotspot. Hey, mouse! Hello. <laughs> How are we doing? I think we're doing good. A little chilly. Yeah. My feet. But once I get walking, they'll be fine. I hope. Um, just walk around saying hi to you. Don't normally talk. It's just the mic, and I'll be doing editing and talking after the fact. If I run into somebody who wants to say something, I'll talk with them. Yep. It is fun just, um, see, I want my Skittles, because she has her Justice for Trayvon sticker. <laughs> I bought 20 packs of Skittles on the way over here and left them in my car. No. And they're, like, down at the Battery Park garage, and I just, like, can't leave now to go get them. Oh, God yeah. damn, that sucks. I just, I, every time I come here, I get a new sticker, so. Yeah, I, I mean, now I'm going to do 20 packs of Skittles, but uh, I guess I'll just have to come back again soon. Yeah, exactly. Actually, can I ask you a couple questions? Sure, I'm from Occupy Earth. You're on live stream right now. Oh, cool. Uh, <laughs> I was just wondering how, because I really want to be a journalist, but I want to find a way to like combine journalism with activism. So I was wondering how that's working out for you. <laughs> well, now you're really asking somebody who probably doesn't have the answer because <laughs> I am not a journalist. Okay. I'm a psychologist. Oh, where? And a like widowed single mom that got involved with Occupy, and then I don't know. I went to Chicago one weekend and ended up occupying like for real, not just on the computer. Yeah. And then I got this 4G phone, and then I went down and visited this guy in Trenton, only he's from Houston, <laughs> and I started streaming, and little by little, it grew. Word. And no, now here awesome. I am with, I'm geared up. Hell yeah. Um, that's the way to do it. The, the only difference between an independent journalist and a credential journalist is one went to school and paid a lot of money for a sheet of paper. Yeah. I mean, I, I'm a student right now, but I'm majoring in anthropology, but I'm just kind of getting involved in journalism and the media, and I really, really like it. So. Anth a person with an anthropology background getting involved in journalism is a brilliant combination. Really? Oh, I absolutely. Well, wait a minute. Anthropology. Ethology. What is ethology? Ethology is collective work. No, 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 not anthology. Ethology. It ethology. is the study of human 
observing human social behavior through anthropology. Yeah, I, mean, I, 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 you know, where I get this from, I'm digging deep <laughs> into my undergraduate education, but you have a different perspective on things. Um, you should do it. And you know what? There's something wrong with going to school for stuff. Yeah. But um, this is how you do this. You just start doing it. <laughs> Word. Um, yeah. At, that's that's kind of what I'm doing. Hey! Hey, oh, yeah, cool purple dude. Let's see, so we're getting a message. Hey, hi, Josep. Okay, have a birthday, have fun. Now, this is um, an interesting mask. <laughs> this, uh, this would work really well as a fly mask. My daughter is an equestrian and has great difficulty with the flies. Oh, I hear people coming. And this is a good idea. <laughs> Plus, he's purple, so he's cool. Yeah, I think we got people coming. Mike, check! See another friend around here. Just a minute ago. I'm going to give you a better mandate so I can get me some footage of the incoming and then we'll be ready to go. Okay, let's do it. Here we go. Da, 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 here's my buddy with my gas mask that I gave him. It looks great. Stay safe. I don't have mine with me, so if I get. Oh, okay. If I get pepper sprayed, come running with my mask. These guys are playing the solidarity song. I usually want to sing. Uh, anyone wants to be a puppeteer, please gather at the Brooklyn Bridge Puppet. All right, let's go visit the Brooklyn Bridge Puppet, even though I'm not going to be a puppeteer. Lots of familiar looking people here. Lots of beautiful looking people here. I mean, hey, this guy's got this peace sign out all the time. I love him. I really bad hard time with the solidarity song because I always want to be singing the uh, glory, glory, hallelujah thing. But, uh, that's, and, and these musicians, they're always here and doing a great job. Hey, Sharp. Yes, anthropology. Sharp, if you can figure it out. The, the, the anthropology section that's like psych-minded, ethology, I think. But anyway, we don't need to get into that stuff right now. We're occupying. Oh, wow, okay, this is the Brooklyn Bridge puppet. They gotta have people guarding this. I didn't even see it. It's full of Christmas lights. And... Oh, wow. Holy cool. Let me, let me get a, a better view of this. Wow, oh my god, remember this bridge guys from like, uh, I don't know, Halloween? It starts on one end here. The Brooklyn Bridge is an architectural masterpiece, um, an engineering masterpiece, I'm sorry. I watched something on Discovery Channel once about how they built it and it's fascinating, as well as uh, typical corporate greed shit, because people died building this bridge because they were in such a rush. It didn't take safety precautions. Uh, I, I, I um, so this will be great uh, to see this going. It goes on and on and on. And they need some puppeteers to help with it. This is one of these days I'm going to come and, 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 and do one of these actions and, and not scream. So I can enjoy and just get a chance to see all this. Um, and we got someone, park artist. It's really funny uh, that that young woman was asking me about journalism. I mean, I look like a journalist, I guess. Coming up, uh, puppeteers, there's a couple of basic commands. One is scrunch up, and that means where we need to just gather towards the front. So I'll say energy will slow down, and scrunch up just means we're going to kind of condense in case we're like in a weird place and we don't want to fuck shit up. That's not the point of today. Uh, we're going to be right behind the granny grenade. We should be pretty safe there. Oh, I'm not yeah. trying to get arrested at all. If you feel like a police man or if anyone's... If you don't feel safe holding the puppet, let it go. And, you know, abandon bridge! Abandon bridge! Don't care about this puppet. We're not trying to get arrested. That's not the point. We're not trying to get arrested with this puppet. Just trying to get the puppet going. Now here's a fellow that I hung out with in Newark the day I was chasing the Whitney Houston funeral. It's amazing. 
Yeah. There's another fellow there. Now, he was roughed up the other night. I got to check and see how he's doing. Um, there's another guy. Good, uh, I don't even know these people's names. Okay, they are putting the puppet up. The Brooklyn Bridge puppet up. Look at this. Freaking amazing. Absolutely amazing. The creativity of our occupiers. You just, it, 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 it blows my mind. Let me see if I, how I can get the best view of this. Look at this. So, rough head count. Um, I don't know. I, I'm really bad at the crowd projections and the people coming from Union Square. I don't think I've gotten here yet. It's not a tremendous crowd. It's not like what we saw on the six month anniversary or even last weekend. I got it. Um, if I could have my hands back. Well, there's more of us than the cup from what I can see. Um, I really, I don't know. That would be a couple hundred. Yes. Looks like it counts. All right, let me go over and see this mic check. I feel my friend Thorin here. Thorin, original occupier, great supporter of my niece. Um, there we go. I think we're starting with the bridge. He's texting away, so he doesn't even see me here. But this is Thorin. Hey, how you good? How are you? Good to see you. I'm glad you're streaming. Yeah, we're streaming. Occupy Earth, say hi to Thorin. Hey, what's up, guys? <laughs> heading out to the Brooklyn Bridge. I guess we're heading out, yeah. It's the most awesome prop I think I, I've I, ever seen. I've, it's magnificent. It's incredible. They want a rough head count, and never, I don't know how to do that. Never-ending ingenuity. Oh, they want a head count? I don't know. Oh, we just did one, 225. 225, Thorin says. Um, I, I thought there would be more. Me too. Me too. Um, it was promoted only by certain people, not by direct action. Okay. So I think that has a lot to do with it. How's your um, our, I don't know, but it's probably pretty good yeah. right now. Um, it should be, because I couldn't find anybody live streaming this, and I was actually going to go live from Occupied Air again. Oh, really? There's three of Well, there's me and Matt, Jane and Jake is, is here. Yeah, so... Um, um, if that happens, let me know. So... Um, they, you know, because if we go down, they get you up on Earth. Yeah, you know. totally. I'll let you know. Okay. I'm wondering about the wireless thing on the middle of the Um, do you have a wireless hotspot? <laughs> All right. And a couple batteries if you need. I, I'm batteried up. We have two 4,000s and one 18,000. I don't think anybody's more ready for the revolution and the apocalypse than the live streamers. Yeah, right. Really, honestly, <laughs> come on. All the food, all the batteries. I got, yeah, I got the fig news. <laughs> All right. All right. So it's not as huge a crowd. Also, you got to remember there were 700 people arrested, and many of them had taken the deal where you can't get arrested again for six months. So they're not going to necessarily come out here for this. Um, so I am, and I do see some what they call um, uh, bridge veteran, <laughs> um, and there are lots of folks. So it's just, it's just absolutely. It's a good time. There's Jake Rostrom in the background. He's waving us. So there aren't a whole lot of streamers out here. Uh, I guess we're going. All right. Um, I'm gonna turn my thing around. <laughs> oh, I can find mine. Hey, Shrava. How you doing? I'm gonna try and get to the front. Um, let me just see if I can, because I, I like it in the front, uh, but I don't think I'm going to make it. <laughs> I'm already crowded. It's amazing how quickly it just suddenly people consolidate and, um, we got Miss Liberty here dancing away. Let's see if I can get to the front. I don't think I can. You know, all of a sudden you go from everything still to...
Are you Marty? No. No, okay. No, no. He's much handsomer than I am. Oh.
like grew suddenly, so I really don't know. Okay, I'm glad things are good. I'm not going to stop and save then. The world is possible. We are unstoppable. Another world is possible. We are unstoppable. Another world is possible. We are unstoppable.
water someplace where I can find it. And it keeps not falling. Oh, Lower just got one. Yeah. Lower the bridge, trees! Born and bred in the Bronx, lived in Staten Island, lived in Jersey, have never walked the bridge. So before we get on there, I'm going to quick save and just restart, because um, this is like a major moment for me. 